so it's been a while since my last video uh, Christmas came and then I kind of just dropped the ball and didn't really uh, get to the blog or the videos or anything like that anyways um, I just wanted to show some updates on my Presa i3 basically uh, quite a few things that I've done to get it printing really well um, it was printing really well now it's printing even better circumstances with um, things that might uh, curl off the bed and whatnot um, I have it set up with OctoPrint, which is uh, super nice. I got a little video camera, so anywhere around the house, I have my tablet. I can kind of work on it. And I got a Canna kit. Came with everything. It was like 69 bucks, um, which I think is a pretty good deal for what I got. The enclosure I built out of um, basically angle and flat aluminum. Um, local hardware store, acrylic sheets hardware store, just the cheapest stuff I could find that would work. I, uh, you know, put insulating strips along the, um, all the edges to try and keep the heat in there. I have a small little ceramic heater that I use to preheat the box. Um, I don't really run it while it's printing, don't really need it, I just get it up to, a uh, around 30 degrees Celsius, and then I let it print. Um, also, with the enclosure, I had the spool holder on the top, I took that off, and now I have a new spool holder that basically I can kind of just drop these in here and it makes it really easy to switch out the filament when I need to. Um, what I did find was <clears throat> I had the heated bed the wrong way so basically the um, the traces I think should be facing up because that's kind of where your heat's coming from and you want the heat to to kind of rise up and, and warm this area, whereas it was flipped over and is basically heating more so under, underneath the bed, um, not above. Uh, so I found that I was having a hard time as the, uh, the higher the print went, I'd get a layer separation and things like that because the temperature wasn't as consistent at higher up layers. Um, and that's simply because it was heating under the bed more than it was above the bed. And, um, and that was causing issues. So I flipped it over. I got some um, some of that cork and I covered it in aluminum foil and put it between the heated bed and my aluminum build plate and that worked out really well. I had to uh, I had to also I had to also print some new new holders, bearing holders for my bed because as you can see they they became kind of warped from the temperature. See, the, uh, it was a lot hotter underneath the bed than on top, so it was warping these and then I was having, you know, errors in my prints and things like that. Um, the nice thing with the enclosure is I can also mount a light. And I got my camera mounted, which is hooked up to the Octo Print, um, the Raspberry Pi for Octo Print. Um, so that, that works out pretty good. Nice little mount in there. The other thing I set up were these, uh, I printed these corner clips so that I could easily adjust the bed without having to, you know, have a, uh, a wrench in there and then also the, um, you know, to adjust the top, so that was nice. Update, I added a fan to the um, extruder uh, motor, and I print out, you know, just something that I made real quick, a mount for that. And I also have one of these uh, adjustable, you know, you just adjust the height so that you can zero in your uh, Z end stop. And that works pretty good. And on the inside, I have a nice plastic, um, you know, acrylic plastic separator here, and then a fan blowing down on the electronics, and that helps keep things cool on the electronics side um, with the enclosure. So that all works quite well, and I'm able to get really good prints now, which uh, has been fantastic. So, and it's got a nice little, you know, door, and it's a lot quieter as well. Um, which is an added benefit.